Hello my co-hosts, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Toronto Senpai, and welcome to another Beast of the Mesozoic News video. Watch that. Oh, you thought I wouldn't follow through, did ya? Well, sucks to be wrong. Does it? <laughs> so we got quite a lot of news to cover this week. Actually, it's kind of borderline um, overwhelming in some instances, but hopefully we can get breathes through this as quickly as possible. But yeah, I'm excited to finally be doing this consistently again. Even though we had some minor issues this morning, I'm pretty sure you all saw the YouTube post, but I'm sure we'll be fine. So without further ado, let's begin. So we got some more images of the calendar. Uh, for 2023, here we have the Albertosaurus and the Pachyrhinosaurus, and this is the calendar for July. Next up, we have another Pachyrhinosaurus, this time it's the Fan uh, Choice Edition, which looks really good. I really want this Pachyrhinosaurus now that I'm looking at it. Uh, with the Catsaquatlus flying in the distance. This one is June, so it's the month before uh, this one. Then we have the March, which is the Protoceratops, the green one. I forgot which species. Helicorhinus, that's the one. Protoceratops Helicorhinus, I'm sorry. And I think this is the last image of the, uh, of the freaking calendar, which is the Dryptosaurus and the seabirds eating a corpse of some description. Again, this calendar is already available. Link in the description down below so you can check it out. And this is the next image I wanted to show you guys. This is a teaser for what's coming next. It's another figure that's coming. Just by looking at this, it's kind of a giveaway of what kind of dinosaur this is. It's a Pycnemosaurus! Nah, I just wanted to throw Pathotitans under the bridge for just a second. No, it, it's clearly Carnotaurus. <laughs> and this is just a little teaser of it, but already it looks great. Look at the small little scales along the face. The devil horns that it's known for. The eyes. Oh, this is going to look so cool. I can't wait to see what this dinosaur is going to look like. Especially since we actually have skin impressions of Carnotaurus and an almost complete specimen, which is the only one we found so far. Oh my god, I, I can't wait. I'm so excited for Carnotaurus to finally be released. It's gonna look awesome. Uh. Excuse me. Anyway, so here's our next bit of news. This is like a Cyberzoic concept art piece. And there's a lot going on here. We have tech, the Tech and Fire Clans here, um, along with Raptors. So we got like a Kilobator and... Utah Raptor, and according to the description, it says, "What happens when the Tech Clan <laughs> investigates rumors of the Fire Clan illegally developing AI combat robots? The confirmation is not pretty. Roused from their offline slumber, the Razorhound Killabator units become active and aggressively defend their home against the invading Utah Raptor threats. An instance to have major repeat." I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time speaking. Repercussions that could soon lead to war. And here we have said description of the illegal technology, which I'm assuming these are all like Akilobators. And the armor that they're wearing can turn into these Razor Hound, which is like, according to this piece of work, illegal. So this is interesting stuff. The world building in this is incredible. And you can see like the Utah Raptor right there in the middle. Because it has like the yellow band instead of like the fire armor. And we could also tell, you know, because these kilobators have the red feet, Utah Raptors have the yellow ones. So this is really cool. There's so much world building in this. I wonder if this could be turned into a game or a movie. That'd be interesting. Uh, next up, we got some decos, demos, whatever they're called. Hold on. Yeah, deco samples of the package shapes for the Beast of the Mezzo Tyrannosaur series. So we have the Tyrannus. The Juvenile T-Rex, the 1-6 scale Dilong, the adorable uh, Triceratops, uh, Triceratops, <laughs> Ceratopsian babies, I beg your pardon, and the Guan Long, which all look pretty cool. And then the next one, we have the Old Bucks Dracosaurus and both the Bloody and the Not Bloody variants. I swear, man, I'm so excited for this Dracosaurus to finally come in the market. I'm so hyped. But yeah, there we go. And our next bit, I'm pretty sure this is the last bit of information we have. Yeah, our last reveal is the concept art for the Dilophosaurus. I mean, we got a reveal of what the figure would look like, but that was without the articulation. So here we have an articulated jaw, head, neck, the arms, the hands, the torso. I'm imagining this is going to be on a peg or possibly 
um, with a prop. I don't know. We have uh, thigh, shin, ankle, toe articulation, and three points of articulation for the tail. This is going to be so exciting. I can't wait to get my hands on a Dilophosaurus. Um, I'm pretty sure he's already released an image of the Dilophosaurus for Beast of the Mesozoic. If so, I'll leave the image here in case. But if not, it's either I haven't found it or um, I just forgot to do it in post. But anyway, that's all the news I really got to cover for today. If you did enjoy today's video, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord, my Twitch, and the Creative Beast Studio website in the description down below so you can buy your own figures. And until next time, this is Tyrannus Senpai signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye bye then.